Hello everybody, this is Cody with the Nick and Kirk Experience, and I'm back playing some more Fallout New Vegas, and uh, if you remember last time we were down here in this pit of despair, and I say that because it's green and creepy down here, and we're going to go ahead and try and see what's down here before we go and get a uh, good old Dean Domino. And the other thing too, um, I've had a lot going on lately uh, with some other stuff that I need to get done, so sorry about not having a Saturday recording today. I needed to push one out and anything, because I, I don't want to miss three days in a row. Sunday, I usually miss every time just for like the day off kind of thing, but if I miss today as well, I'd be really upset, but I, I do have to go and get emissions testing on my car done. Um, just cause like, I haven't been driving on the highways lately. And so like, I have to actually go get it done instead of just like, it shows up and say, Hey, you passed on the highway, but I, I know it'll pass now. There's no problem. I just have to go do it. And then there's some other stuff I need to go get done anything before the first. And, and so I, I need to get this done. So it might be a little shorter. I'm not sure yet. It just depends on how much time I have left, but just letting you know. And then, uh, there will be. A video for Skyrim and B installation soon, and then I might start a playthrough of Skyrim in just a little while too. I've been trying to perfect all the settings on it, and make sure that I can run at least mostly on average of 60 FPS when I play, because uh, less than 60 FPS while recording that game for a playthrough is a little bit wonky. So I've just been fine-tuning some things, and we should be about ready soon. Okay, so this door requires a key. I don't think we've found a key for this before. Um, that's a 12 gauge, and that's a lot of spears. Am I gonna get attacked over here now? Uh, take. Take what? Who knows? Just take it. Hunting shotgun! Oh, uh, thank you, Lady Spencer. Lady Spencer. Coin shot? Okay. Ooh, cloud mash. Ooh, that actually does a lot for me. NCR Ranger Patrol Armor. That sounds like a good idea. <gasps> Recipe for Cloud Mash, good. Retro mas uh, Metro Master Key. 12 7 millimeter rounds, the K. Now, if I take that, I don't think I want to take that just in case. Her armor is pretty good, though. What armor am I using again? I'm using the Assassin suit, which has 14. So we're going to go ahead and leave that here. I don't think we need it. Thanks, Spencer. Um, okay, good. Come off the stairs. Get get down there. Well, that's all you lost. You're using a freaking knife when you had a shotgun ready to go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Um, hunting police plasma hollow. And then sawed off is gonna be replaced by the uh, 12 gauge, the hunting shotgun. Then we're actually gonna repair it with the caravan, cause I don't want the caravan anymore. That's not what I want either. Yes. Hello, beautiful. CS coin shot. Okay, we're going to use normal slugs. Or normal rounds. Good, good, good. So, is this door just... Okay, that door's blocked off. She went to the wrong door. Oh, we're hungry. How hungry are we? Pretty hungry. Alright, I guess we'll eat. Um... Food. That's pretty good, but I don't want to waste it yet. We're going to go in just 15, 30... 45, 60, 90, 86 left, okay. 15, 30, 45, 60, 75. That should be more than enough, and then some drinks. Boom! Good to go. Good to go. I'm just going to go ahead and do like a normal save here. Because uh, when I loaded it up earlier today, there was some weird glitching with that. Luckily, I had a quick save too, and the quick save worked just fine. So I'm just going to resave right now while I have the chance. Got me a good old hunting shotgun, one of my favorite guns in the game, even though it's not as powerful as some of the other ones. I really wish this was as powerful as uh, the Remington 870 that I have. Because I like the spread on this one a lot better. All right, I don't think we need to be sneaky anymore. Dumb lady, wrong door. Ooh. Wait, was I? Have I been here before? This looks familiar. Yeah, okay, I have. This, okay, so that just brought me back around in full circle. Okay, that's cool. How much are 12 gauge shells? 50 for 12 12 gauges. Uh, we'll go ahead and buy like 24 rounds. 
well, shells. Because, uh, honestly, I might have just made a mistake there buying this, because who knows, this might be terrible. This might not work well at all. This might actually be a very terrible gun to use against ghosts. Who knows? I sure don't, but we're going to find out. Alright, so I think... I mean, if I missed anything, I'll probably be able to come back through. This obviously let me nowhere, other than just to pick up the shotgun and the uh, food there. That that recipe book for making that food is going to be fantastic. Now with that, I won't starve anymore. Hooray! Hello? Ghosty goose. Let me just change that out, by the way. Alright, and then the front door was this way, past the postal. Never found my check, but that's okay, I guess. It's, it's not really a big deal. Okay, I did check through that. Somebody needs to clean up in here. It's a little bit dirty. I mean, you could tell these guys have been waiting here for a long time. I totally didn't shoot them. Not at all. Well, I mean, this guy definitely has been waiting for a long time. Alright. Either way, let's go get Dina do Dina 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 going to get my car done or anything like that because it takes forever and you just have to sit there that's it that's all you can do alrighty um, okay so we're good that way man it's nice to actually get out here in the open without it being dark and at night I like the daytime is what I'm saying alright so I think we've cleared out most but we're still going to be cautious about traps because Dean Domino is a bit of a trap monkey alright your tree was spring the way tortoises keep rolling in. I think you complain too much, Dean. Cloud residue is a good thing to have now. Hopefully I can, or like, I'm assuming that I'm going to need some sort of other parts, like Instamash or whatever, or something to make those new noodles that I want. What is... That tourist crosses me, Shh. they'll regret it. Sh shut up, Even Dean. If they don't, they still might. I don't know if you guys heard that, that weird jingling noise. See, I don't know what's going on with this, by the way. I shouldn't be able to see through these floors. Um, <laughs> the textures are missing, I guess. Wait, I wonder. There might be a reason in here. Oops, not that one. This one? There we go. Okay, so... Um, if you're ever having an issue like this, anything like that, if you can see, this right here, fix transparency bugs. It does fix bugs on certain things, but on setups like this where you're you're looking through the floor, there's supposed to be, like, textures for, you know, ground like that. You see the wood coming through? The rest of it's supposed to be dark. Uh, like, there's just, like, holes getting torn up through the, the floor and stuff like that. The ceiling paint's coming down. Um, if you have the fixed transparency bugs, you can see right through it, which isn't too big of a deal for certain areas, but other ones it's bad. I think Dean's just happy that somebody else is here that he can blather at, because, I mean, seriously, he's just reiterating everything. But yeah, if you have seeing through the whole problem, <laughs> seeing through the floor problems like I did right there, you just you just do that and it's fine. Alright, we're going to quick save because we're right up next to Dean. We're going to go ahead and be polite. Dean, old boy, how you doing, my friend? Let me just look around Have real quick. Seat. Came all this way. Least I can do is let you rest your feet for a sec. Well, I know there's a bomb in the cushion, but I, I will. Just, just give me a minute. I'm just gonna go ahead and look through all your shit. Okay, it's all empty. God, I love Dean. Hey, buddy, you looking good? The Sierra Madre, beauty, isn't she? She the one who invited you here? Or maybe you didn't catch her voice on the radio. No, 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 we're you good. Woke up confused like some of the others. At least you're still breathing. Yeah, Spencer's downstairs. Don't get up or make any sudden motions, no matter how uncomfortable that chair gets. The cushion's just for show. 
The cha- yeah. <laughs> no one for sitting when the clock's ticking. I wish I could say that, but I'm too retarded with explosives, so. Might be a bit rude, but that chair you're sitting in, it's got a shaped charge in the seat cushion. Get up without my permission. I'll blast your ass so far through your head, it'll turn the moon cheddy pie red. All right. So, let's keep this sweet and polite and finish our conversation with no misunderstanding. I did put the shotgun away politely, so yeah, I know. And that's what I've missed, a rapt audience. I can tell by how you're speaking Just in the radio. I Don't worry. Entertainment doesn't mean I'm a moron. That's true. I heard my necktie beeping. I know what that means. I'm part of this somehow. I want out of this contract. And if you put me in it, I'm not going to be too happy. I'm not going to force so you. Going I'm already forced. There. If you're part of all this, you're taking orders from me. <laughs> Barter. I'll cooperate. Good, good. Then with I like Dean. I may be a betting man, but I like it when the odds are in our favor. If you're here with who I think, then I'd rather have you on my side than his. And it's in the hole. You want to live, I want what's in the madre. Real simple. I think we all want what's in the madre. Oh, we have the phone again. Hold on real quick. Okay. So, I don't know if you guys heard that the first time, but uh, when it rang, uh, it, it went like, Ding! and then it did it again, and like some random number just kept calling over and over again and hanging up. It was annoying. Anyway, all right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, me and the wait, wait, wait just a minute. I'm not walking out there on my own. I know what's out there. It's why I've planted a minefield, shotguns, and explosives all the way on the road. Like yeah, and I disabled are. all of them. So we go together or we're not going at all. I'll split my hand in blackjack when the time's right. I'm not splitting up in this town. Trust me. All right, that's fine, Dean. All right, partner. I mean... Dean's giving the unclean living perk. This perk grants you a short period of time before taking damage inside a toxic cloud, as well as reducing the amount of damage you take inside a toxic cloud by 25%. Cool. You have to take the long way back. There's a shortcut across the way, you see? It's through the cloud, but if I'm with you, I can help you through it. If you didn't already force the lock to the gate, that is. Um. Well. Just to let you know, I probably did. I don't remember. <laughs> Dean boy. Dini Bobini. Banana Fana Fofini. Fifa Fofini. Dini. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and. Going pop. to be sad to leave the residential district. Well, not really. <laughs> oh, Dean. So, what we're gonna do then, I guess, is just pop back through. Speak to Elijah at the Fountain of Further Instructions. Alright. Good man. Doesn't make me have to go around and watch him run down the stairs and whatnot. All right, Dean, let's go on this way. Let's have some fun. Whoa, whoa, hello, lag, lag spike. That was weird. So shipping is where I just was. We got everything through here. That's good. Ooh, what's that? It's just a tin can. Dirty water. Well, it led me to dirty water. Thank you, tin can. Something glows like that, I get all shiny excited and yeah. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. So you're talking about this way, Dean? I don't know if I really want to go through this. Alright, well, well we'll just quick save and see if we can get through that dying. Sometimes I forget where they are. I can help you with the cloud, not for long though. Okay, cool. So these are just gonna be short little trips through them, so I'm not too upset about that. That's that's cool. So we could probably go through that. I'm not too worried about picking up more chips because I have so many already. It's it's fine for now. Yeah. Uh, did you mean this lock, Dean? I, I forced this lock. Um. 
that's back to the villa. And this is the way I started, I believe. I don't need more of that. Another tin can. I get excited by tin cans, apparently. Every time I see one, it's just like, oh, must touch the tiny. It's not shiny, it's shine, shiny. Shiny, touch the shiny. Then it just went shiny. Well, that, that shows you how special I am. Sure glad one of us knows what you're doing. Yep. Ah, oh, there we go. I didn't get a headshot the first time or two. Oh, Dean, buddy, be careful. Ow! That really hurt, goddammit. Dean, can you actually, like, do something other than just stare at me getting hurt? Well, that shotgun's not doing too bad. I mean, it's just, it's one of those hit or miss kind of things about getting him directly in the face or not. Oh god, that eerie music is back again. I forgot about that. I don't know what it is, but this music is just, it creeps me out. Um, so we'll return this. And then we'll return nothing else, because we have nothing else. Stim packs, though, please. We're going to grab, like, five. One doctor's bag, please. We're always going to need a new one. Those machines. Sinclair's little gifts. Lasted longer than he did. If you need food, stims, put in a chair. Hold out your hand. <laughs> And then it'll put it all over your face. I mean, all over That's your hands. That's your way out after you break into the Sierra Madre's vault. Try to leave. I'll set off your collar. The door's locked, dumbass. How the hell am I supposed to leave anyway? Do I... Look, I'm way too fat to get through these little bars anyway. Meow. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and quick save. Alright, so we got everybody in here pretty... Relatively safely. None of them really put up a fight about doing it anyway. We did well, so let's go talk. Father well, Elijah! Well done. Now for the festivities, Ooh. and your part in all this. Festivities! Clap, clap, clap. The owner of the Sierra Madre, for whatever reason, keyed the grand opening to the gala event itself. It needs to be fired off in order for the casino doors to open. As I've discovered, one person can't do it. Yep. So get your team into position indicated on your pit boy, then trigger it properly. You're so close now, don't let me down. Otherwise, I'll have to rely on the next team. The next team. Um, how am I supposed to get the markers on my map? What is the gala event? A display of lights. We already know this stuff. Music in the streets. A pre-war festival to mark the casino's opening. There better be dancing monkeys with peanuts, too. Struck first. It is of no consequence. Only firing the event is. Get the three in position, and travel to your position in Salida del Sol and trigger the gala. After that, the real work begins. It's really kind of hard to see him, isn't it? It's weird. That's okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, What do you mean? Perhaps you think this is a simple robbery. A cheap casino heist. No, this is a heist of the centuries. We're not plundering Sierra Madre. We're plundering history. Taking from the old world itself. It won't let its secrets go easily. Not without a fight. I wouldn't expect anything less. Yeah, good point. How am I supposed to get the markers on my map? I've unlocked the west and east gates to Puesta del Sol and Salida del Sol. Finally. Now that you've survived the villa, I need to get to my position. You don't need me to hold your hand anymore. I'll keep monitoring you via the transceivers through the villa. If I need to offer guidance, I will. You mean when? Because you're going to no matter what. Well, head out there. I then. suggest taking the FEV reject to his position first. Although you may need his brutality and strength elsewhere first. As easy as the villa was to navigate. The outlying areas of the villa are far more dangerous, thicker with the ghost people, traps, and toxins. 
Use your team as I use you. Listen to your caller. Watch where you step. Watch where you step. You're no use to me dead. You are no use to me dead. Lost Dean's unclean living perk. That's fine. Dean's gone to the Villa Fountain. We know. He's right there. Um, Christine, Dean in the south rooftop, and then Dog to the switching substation in Salida. We'll go to Salida Del Sol first, because Dog's probably going to be a little bit difficult. So, well, God, are I mean. we on our way to somewhere else? A gala event, perhaps? Gala, you uncultured swine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um... What do you know about the gala event? The gala event is the way to bring the old man out. He won't show himself until the casino doors are open. Not true. So triggering the event is key. And the key. The question becomes, can we trust each other to do this? We'll see. If we go there, you'll have to give me control. If you bring Dog out, then... I'll make sure you pay in blood. God, buddy, you know for a fact that I've already proven to you that I want to rather keep you out for the intelligence factor. Have you noticed that I haven't brought Dog out once? Anything else? Dog might know more. You should ask him. Beware the answer. Because I think Dog got hungry. He couldn't help himself. I tried. I always try. And he... He keeps giving in. Any reason why you're signed to this point of the map? Maybe it's familiar, comfortable. Practice makes perfect. And as much as it bruises my ego, some things require brute strength. In the right combination. And besides, none of your assembled band of thieves look able to rip a 200-year rusted power switch down like a machete to fire up an entire town. True. Other questions? You're a brave one. Sure you're ready for the answer? I'm ready for anything. Who's this old man who brought us here? Don't play stupid. I already <laughs> have to mind one child. You must have figured it out by now. Yeah, I did. The old man obsessed with the Sierra Madre? Riddled with greed? Hoped you might be him when I woke up. All you are is his hand. Well, don't bite me. You're the same kind of greed. Followed the radio, the broadcast, and now you're here, all confused. Not for long. You'll figure it out. I've already figured it out. I just wanted to see what you were going to say about it. What do you know about the old man? Elijah. Human. Weak like all of you are. Feeling age circling him like starved dogs. Howling for blood. To me, he reeks of age and failure. And madness. To me, he is simply the old man. To Dog, he is Master. <laughs> His name, meaningless. Running out of years, hopes and dreams running through his withered hands like sand from the big empty. And scorched by the sun. Big empty! We're gonna go there next. Um, scorched by the sun? The old man, this Elijah, tried to hold the sun in his hands. Arrogance was cast down for it. Icarus' crime was to fly too high. Yup. Elijah, Elijah wanted to bring the sun down to him. <laughs> Arrogance. Not necessarily, if you saw... <laughs> If you see what's at Helios, you'll you'll understand why he tried to do that, because it will work. He just didn't have the time to finish it. Why what is he doing here? Heard the call of the Sierra Madre, just like you did. Exactly the same way. Finds out it's more than a story. Comes to this shining poisonous grail, this jewel of the desert. Yeah, covered in dog shit. More than I do. Dog's always nodding, always obeying him, because he's weak and hungry and greedy for Master's affection. Why are you saying the same, even though I know You're this? You're not him any more than I'm Dog. But Makes me part of him. Neck. You're an extension of the old man's grasp. Clumsy, perhaps, but a tool, yes. And once you get acclimated to the Sierra Madre... Then you'll feel the same overpowering hunger the old man does. 
And then you'll be him, not just his hand. So you're the one who knows how I got to the villa? Of course I know. Even if I don't see it happen. Down in the cage, I hear echoes of the footfalls, the click of the collars. Every time I see one of you, I know exactly how you got here. You couldn't help yourselves any more than Dog can help himself. Yep. You heard the voice, the promise, and then you walked right into one of the old man's traps. Then, then Dog comes for you, drags you here. It makes you kind of laugh, though, because you're wondering, like, so... I get gassed out, and then Dog runs into the from the shadows of where he was. He was hiding, picks you up over his shoulder, and then starts walking you back from here, from God knows you know how far. You wonder if there's like some random NCR or anybody watching and just sees a massive uh, nightkin carrying some guy over his shoulder through the you know mountains and through the hills and deserts and stuff, wondering like what it is, or just let it go, or shot him, or what. You brought me here, yeah. Me? You think I want to haul bodies around the waist? Oops, didn't mean to click, sorry. In a man trap, and Dog made his rounds and dragged you here. When, I don't know. But it must have been recent. Yep. Before the cage. It's only been like two days. Why do you say that? I don't remember you. That isn't surprising. What is, is that it was when Dog was out of his cage. Free. Hungry. He knows not to eat anything he catches in the traps. After that, however, so he dragged you here. You got spared. Dog must have fed after you arrived. Once he was fed, that allowed me out of the cage and put him inside. Do you remember how long you were out? Um... Do I remember I only woke up when my Pip-Boy went active? That's probably about, yeah. Must have already been in the cage. Already had the collar in me. You're lucky Dog didn't devour you. Otherwise, we'd be closer than we are now. How touching. <laughs> Forget I have the questions. More. Um. That's enough for now. Wait, if did... If it isn't the clever... I think we should travel together. There is. I'll God has given you in my footsteps perk. This perk grants you a bonus to stealth as well as the ability to step lightly around place traps. Sweet. That's good. All right. God, old buddy, old pal. Let's get going. Air tastes like copper or old world gold. Well, welcome. Welcome to the flavor of life. The more you realize uh, that kind of stuff, the more you will uh, have a good giggle, man. Because, uh, yeah, most things taste kind of like copper, it seems like. Blood, money, poisoned air, you know, stuff like that. This is normal. Normal day. Already been up there. Alright. believe the idiot swallowed his cop. Wish I had a stealth boy instead of this bear trap. Well. If it isn't the cl Um... What weapons are you good at? Dog is better at the baser instincts than I. I mean, like the brain for you. Sinew and muscle are difficult to move consciously. He's all. Yep, yep. Okay. Well, that's enough. I was gonna say, if I could get in your inventory, I would just give you a pit boy, or not a pit boy, a stealth boy. The thing is, though, is um, I do have the jip thing, but I have that disabled right now, so then you guys can't see that. The gas valves around here to set traps of our own. Good idea, buddy. But yeah, he, um, I don't want to use Jip right now because of the whole Eddie sitting there waiting for me at the other part of, um, Lonesome Road. Stay equals death. Leave equals death. With a box around it. Box death is worse than death, apparently. I hear him, but I don't see them yet. Why do you keep looking at your pit boy? It won't help. Didn't help the old man. Come on, change your weapon. 
There we go. 81, geez. Here they come. Damn it. We're going to try to keep one wall between them and us. Oh, sorry about that, God. Buddy. Nope. Something needs to die. I don't know why I threw that one in the air, by the way. I just felt like it. <laughs> Alright, cool. Thanks, God, there, buddy. We'll take a gas bomb, why not? I mean, the good news is that his frame is powerful, and I think he regenerates health pretty quick, so we're good. To fight. You should call Dog out. As much as I hate to admit it. Meh. I think we're going to try for the good old never talk to dog speech. Hello, bear trap. If I can keep you out and keep you uh, happy and get out to feed a stalker. No, um, if I can keep you happy and excited to be around. What the hell are you carrying? Is that a gas bomb? Oh, no, 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 no. I'll end you. See, you're doing fine. Why would I need to call out dog? I hate when he runs off like that. Jesus Christ, that actually kind of scared me. I didn't expect an exploding noise. That's a weird effect for his blood to be pouring out of him like that. Good job. Floors have teeth. You mean bear traps? Alright. Lunchbox. Ooh. Stay in the page. Let's read, shall we? not going to rat me out for what happened in the villa. I'm not the one who laid the foundation, and I'm not going to take the fall for the supports either. If they try to pin this on me, I'll let them all know what's really going on in the construction contracts. I don't know why I did that voice, but I did. That's what you get. <sighs> Hello, Redaway, my old friend. I haven't really seen much need for radiation, um, stuff. I keep forgetting that pre-war to toasters, like, they could be bombs. I don't know if that is in this. This place has seen better days. Yep, just like your mom. Oh! But yeah, I don't know. It. I don't know if this DLC has toaster bombs or not. I should still be careful, though, because I, I know... I just totally got scared by him. I'm sorry. Sorry, buddy. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if this one has toaster bombs or not. Yep. I just shot God right in the chest. He scared me and I shot. That's just what I... Yeah. You gonna repeat yourself every three seconds? I don't really see a need to come down here. Ooh, what is what is glowing green here? Well, a carton of cigarettes is good. They can trade those. We'll take the nine mil because I have some other weapons that I could probably repair it with. Um. Yeah, we'll just repair the other nightmare with it. God, so many automatic rifles. Um. Can the hunting rifle be repaired by? No. Alright. Go away. Wait a minute, was that the good one? Okay, good. Whew. I just scared myself. You wanna fight? You wanna fight? Yeah, look at you flip. Do a barrel roll. Fucking toasters, man. Drain microfusion cell, junk food. It's all good to get. I have a lot of cloud residue jars. I probably don't need to keep collecting them. Faster than this if we're going to outwit the old man. Not true at all, sir. There's absolutely no time limit for this. He's waiting on us. If you think otherwise, that is a silly misconception, and you are doing it wrong there, God. Sexy sleepwear. We're good now. We're going to be good for the rest of the time now, guys. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, go away. Alright, there we go. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we've been going for about almost 40 minutes. It's about 36 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, like I said, I do need to kind of 
get out and start doing some stuff. Like I've been, I'm, I'm wasting a little bit of time today, so we're gonna go ahead and save right here. We're also gonna quick save just in case. So then, if that save corrupts again, or not corrupts, acts weird again, we'll be fine. But either way, though, thanks you, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. If you li uh, like this, please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. That helps me out a lot. Um, like I said in the next episode or two, we'll probably do the Skyrim EMB installation, just because I've been asked to do that by Dark Man Angel, and I will do that soon, I promise, and then maybe start my uh, Skyrim playthrough up. It just depends on how I'm feeling and if I can make sure everything's fully complete before I start doing that. If I don't have everything completed and ready to go, I wouldn't really want to start it yet, just because I don't want things to look ugly. I want it to be perfect for me before I do it, and then I can do it for you guys. But either way, though, guys, um, like I said, thanks again very much for watching, and I'm going to go get my car and stuff done now, so I will... Uh, I'll let you guys know how it goes. I mean, it's really just a smog test kind of thing. That's It's going to go fine. Either way, I'll stop rambling. Thanks again, guys, for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye!